So I had a vision. The former CBN governor, Emi Fele, is trying to escape. He will try to escape. There's a mole in the security that will take bribe to let him run away. But one thing I saw in that vision is that this man is not only connected to so many alleged, I want to use the word alleged, because I know what people can do when they get my video. So allegedly, this man is said to have connections and ties. But I see in the spirit, spiritual things are not allegedly. And I'm not accusing him. I'm only saying what I'm seeing. And everything I see will come to pass if it is God's doing for this manifestation. There is so many connections to terrorism with this man. Amy Feller is going to go to prison. He's going to be sentenced to prison. And he's going to die in prison. I had that vision. I saw him in prison. I saw him dying inside prison. He's going to die of a particular lungs and liver disease. He has been judged by God already. There is nothing any man can do. Whatever is playing right now in his life is just a short time. He should start making out time to make peace with his life, make peace with his family. He should make peace with uh, friends. He should start serving God the way he wants to go. But that's what I see. The former Central Bank of Nigeria is going to go to prison. But before that happens, you are going to hear on the news. This is Prophet Samuel saying this prophecy. No one has said this prophecy. So this is coming new. The former Central Bank of Nigeria, the governor, the dep is it the deputy or Emifele, former CBN governor, we try to escape. There's a mole in the security that will take bribe to let him run away. So as we speak right now, there are people planning a secret run. He is going to try to run away. They are saying, governor, the, the judgment is going to be bad. Governor, this thing is going to be very bad. So as I speak to you, there are people, both in security, both in the higher administrative, that are going to be giving money to make him run away. But how he's going to escape, they will be questioning. They are going to give us a lie that he escaped something happened. No, 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 no. He was bright, but behind, <laughs> beyond the people planning to make him escape, are also planning to es es expose that he is going to escape. So they are going to say attempt to escape, and the people who collect money will still blow whistle that he's escaping. So this man is in between foolish people why are you trying to run if you are not guilty if you are innocent why not stay and fight so i have not come to say he's guilty but i see heaven has judged him when i mean judgment i saw him dying in the prison he's going to go to prison Yahaya Bello we go to prison. Former governor of... And, and this might not be a prophecy, taken as a prophecy, because it is already happening and anyone can say he will go to prison out of speculation of crime. But he's also going to... But don't take this as a prophecy anyway. But I see Yahaya Bello will go to prison. He's already trying to walk away to bribe... Um, to bribe the people and all of that. Now, we are going to pray for elite high schools. All these high schools for the rich people. Elite high schools. When I call, when I talk of elite high schools, the schools for the rich, the schools for the wealthy. In Africa, in Ghana, in Nigeria, Pray for elite high schools. 
because there's going to be kidnapping in one of the African best elite schools. I saw kidnap breaking news. Children are going to be kidnapped. What is the motion behind it? Who is behind this kidnap? Why are they going after the elites in such an intense, secured area? But yet, they were able to kidnap. We need to pray about these schools of the elites. We pray that the will of God will be done in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray for a Nollywood actress. Those of you who are watching right now, there's a new features on your phone. If you type at, that is the word at, all your followers will come. You call all your followers and friends. You can call them all to this video rather than sharing. I can see some people doing it. So if you want to do that, press the word at. And as you do the word at, all the followers, you see top fans, top followers. You can call them to this video and they can come. Okay. This prophetic message number three goes to a popular Nollywood actress. Popular Nollywood actress. Her name is Genevieve Naji. Genevieve Naji. This is not only a prophetic message. It is a prophetic cancer to Nollywood industries, to friends and followers of especially people who are closer to Genevieve. Um, I see a mental health affliction. A mental health affliction. Where this arrow is coming from, where this attack is coming from will be unknown. But there is a mental attack, mental breakdown. Because I was in a vision and the Lord caught my attention in something. And I saw a mental facility where the doctor is a psychiatrist. And he was talking to this lady and there is an attack on Genevieve Unaji. Now, haven't you all noticed that since I started prophesying to the people you call celebrities, other pastors are now prophesying to celebrities. It's a good thing. I, I shouldn't be the only prophet speaking to all these people. Now, the essence God uses us to speak to these people you call celebrities is because from their influence, change can affect everybody. Imagine you see your best celebrity calling on the name of Jesus. You will call on the name of Jesus because something has changed in his life. So God can use an influential person to change other situations. And I'm not saying that my prophecy is because Genevieve Naji is actually living a life. I do not know if she's living a life that pleases God or do not pleases God. But I saw something about that lady that is not good mental attack mental attack it is it is it will reach a level of beyond control i don't know what she's going through i don't know the depression i don't know if she has been through abuse or she has she's trying to process something but something is wrong with genevieve energy we have to pray for her she's a star a lot of people love her they like her. She's a Nollywood star. I've watched her films in the past while coming up. And I see the intellect she has. She's very intelligent. But there's something wrong with Genevieve mental. And this is a spiritual attack. So we have to pray for Genevieve, okay? Genevieve is covered by the blood of Jesus. And if it happens, we get to speak. God has told me some other messages um they are, they are watching i i know there are a few persons watching now they know how to reach out so you know how to reach out just and i'm not asking them to really reach out but you know what to do genevieve attack 
Let's pray for her. Nollywood will not lose any star again in the name of Jesus. You know, this attack can make people commit suicide. Can make people do things. Amen. Hallelujah. Nollywood movie will win an international award very soon. I saw Nollywood people celebrating. They were giving something, best, best award of something. And this is on international film academies around the world. I saw Nollywood industry bagging an award of the best. That, that award that is coming, they are not expecting it. It's an award that is long overdue, but this category, they are not going to expect. It's something that is coming that will be an encouragement to the industry of all their efforts that has been made all these years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, beloved, I believe we all heard what the man of God has to say concerning the events that are about to fold these coming days. It has a lot to do with our politicians and a whole lot of bad people. I'll put it bad people because those people have used our eye to see Shege promos. We have seen a lot. You remember the cashless policy that you have to use your money to buy your own money before you can have access to that is the former CBN governor. There are some few things he said about him that he's going to be jailed and he's going to fall ill then probably buy for prison you understand it is a whole lot and i'm like god hey, see the wicked will not go unpunished that is one thing we human beings need to realize earlier the better for all of us see forget about your positions forget about your weight Forget about the kind of things you control. See, when the nemesis want to catch up with you, ba, you yourself, you not go even know how you 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 enter. You go be like ah, so all these things what they do, thinking say nothing go happen. You go come, you go choke you for neck. You not go even feel breath. That is how it's going to actually unfold at the end of the day with these people in our society that felt like oh, it's okay for them to do what they want to do, but. If one small poor person do something, they go send ten son to life imprisonment, or they go buy him. That means that means he's bad, he's evil, he's a criminal, he's this, he's that. Kidiko, kidiko, they go say all kinds of shit about that person because of waiting. He does not have a voice. He's not rich. He's not wealthy. If God should open your eye, or if you are to sit down and calculate the kind of money these people in positions in society steals on daily basis you'll be like hey what a life where are we heading towards as a nation because that is one of the things that is making our economic sector to crash even those in charge of economic sector they are the one even looting when you know so well that if this thing should actually happen like this this is what is going to happen but they don't care and it's really bad. So if the wrath of God wants to fall upon them, let it fall upon them hardly. That is what me I'm praying for. Anybody that see that, see the poor, the people of Nigeria, the entire masses will not suffer. Or you will go into office and you're not meant to do what you're supposed to do. Or more, <laughs> you will use your head, carry with you, you buy for yourself. Now, so now if you buy something, if you know if you hold on for your hand, you will use your head, carry on. That is how it is at the end of the day. And then the man of God also talked about schools for the elite. As you all know, some of us that we want our children to associate with the rich. He's talking about schools of the elite. People that their parents have money. People that they are paying 20 something thousand dollars a year for, for, for school fees. You know, Nam. You people know yourself. So please be careful. Make sure that you, you supervise the school because it is necessary because of what he sees that he sees. I don't pray that any child should suffer for the sins of his or her 
parents because they didn't know anything in as much as they are enjoying from that particular honey pot or that wet it doesn't matter they knew nothing they are innocent you understand but let's put them in prayer so that no harms will come to them because there are some kids that still belongs to the poor because of eye service some of all the schools they give scholarship you have seen it you've read about it just to make sure that they, they, they feel like, yeah, we give scholarship out every year to two, three, five students to come and study in our miss and blah, blah, blah. They're going to speak big, big grammar. So please, I beg us to commit these things, these schools into the hands of God for God protection and not just schools for the elite. Schools that the poor people go to, this government school, let's pray. You understand? Let's pray for them. Coming then into the hands of God. Season period is coming already. Christmas is smelling. It's booming everywhere. The moment you lock your door and you step out of your house, you see that Christmas is everywhere. For those of us that cannot afford Christmas in our houses, when I close my door, I come back from work. It's like January everywhere dry. You know, ending of January that everywhere is so dry that poverty you really think about all those christmas food where you don't eat where we say food there everywhere and you don't see again and so my house there right now so immediately i enter house and they you know even be like say i did november they enter december you understand so let's pray for god's favors and intervention that as we are going out let's come in safe and sound and let's commit our children into the hands of god let's commit our siblings let's commit our nephews everybody into god's hands and pray that the will of god over their life will be carried out no child's life will be taken in school or any learning environment in jesus name and then lastly the man of god actually talk about genevieve energy this is not the first time i'm coming across prophecy concerning her this year 2024 as you all know the year is coming to an end already and he says that they should pray for her they should put her in prayer that something is about to happen to her as you all know couple of years she has stepped back from our screen that is why you don't see her mostly in your screens and all those things let's pray let's commit her into the hands of god let's put her let's soak her into the blood of jesus you know now let's cover her let's surround her that woman has made us happy she has made us cry in movies i remember when i used to be small watching her movies and it is a lot honestly she has a great talent and it says that nollywood as an industry is going to bring home an award i don't know whether see at this point there eh, i just feel like in the world eh, it's nollywood zwood abi zwood and then hollywood they are all the only top movie industry that are actually doing the most in nigeria probably you don't watch all these cinema movies maybe it's youtube you have access to to watch but all these cinema movies that you don't even know that nigerians are acting honestly nigeria to the world kudos to them please commit the industry into the hands of god commit individuals that are there actors and actresses that are there commit them into god's hands and commit that the will of god will actually come to pass in their life whatever acting gay careers award that any actresses or actors need to bring home may it come to pass may their life not be cut short at the end of the day because all this industry we africans we they do the undo people go say this one they get gig more than me that one they get gig more than me they'll go extra mile to make sure that they put limitation to their career even as far as their life so please let's pray for them commit them into god's hands so that is just what i want to share with you guys if you have not subscribed to our channel please do me a favor by subscribing commenting liking share and turn on the post notification bell to get notified so that whenever we upload a new video you'll be the first to be notified and i'll see you in the next one shortly bye for now guys